Trump's escalating matters, right? Mm. And, and I, you know, I'm not condoning what he's, he's doing, but look at it from his point of view. He's sitting there in the White House thinking, we have the best companies, we have the best brands, everyone wants to buy our stuff, why do we have a trade deficit? And what he's implicitly doing is forcing US companies to bring their supply chains home. Now, a corollary to that, which I think hasn't been looked at, is if that happens, there's going to be a substantial uh, capex cycle, which could be positive, well, for the US at least. Mm. Would not that, would that not also render them less efficient? I mean, there's a reason that they offshored yeah. to begin and, with. You know, we, we've, we've been in, in this efficiency drive uh, all the way up to 2008, right? Mm. In finance, in manufacturing, balance sheets have been more levered and leaner, uh, and supply chains have been more complex, but also more efficient. After 2008, what do we have? We have, uh, uh, the focus has shifted away from efficiency to robustness or safety stability. Mm. We've seen that in the, in the finance, uh, in banking and financial industry. And this is going to push manufacturing towards uh, more duplication, less efficiency, mm. but perhaps more ro robustness. Higher cost as well, though, for Higher consumers costs, at the end of the day. It's inflationary, yes. Okay. I, I think that's a very critical point, this uh, point about tariffs as taxes. And Eunice made it very clear that it's not only going to hurt uh, US consumers in the long term, but Chinese consumers as well. I'm just curious, Brian, does all of this derail the investment case for China Inc and especially those long-term mega trends, those growth trends that have really spoken to patient capital's deployment into the Chinese consumer sectors? Uh, China, China isn't as trade dependent as it used to be five years ago when trade dependency was, was like 70%, right? Today it's like 36%. Uh, the US is, has similarly uh, uh, Pre prepared itself for this fight. So ironically, you've got the two combatants in this war um, being the best prepared for it. Europe, in fact, isn't prepared for it with 82% trade dependency. Europe's going to suffer. Now, the Chinese are going to focus on domestic consumption and domestic pr uh, production, just as, as the Americans are being forced or encouraged to reshore and, and, and uh, bring their supply chains back. So the Chinese are going to face a domestic audience. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.